Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is NJS21. Coming to you guys with another video. I want to make a video on, on icon series skins. Like any any icon series or like series skin in general. Not legendary, epic, rare, and uncommon. We're gonna do dark series. We're gonna do slurp series. We're gonna do uh like um. Any series that we actually own until we get to Legendary. So we're going to be looking over every skin I own that is a series skin. Except for the Legendary, Uncommon, you know, Commons. You know, it, like all the other stuff. I don't think it's actually a common skin, like a gray skin. Except for like the defaults, but they are classified Uncommon. Because I believe it's because of those edit styles I got. Um, yeah, I, th I don't think y'all uh, would know... I used to like this skin. I used to rock it quite a lot. Not this edit style. I used to rock this one. I used to rock this one quite a lot. I honestly loved the skin when I first saw it. I, this was actually my first legendary skin I bought. It's not the best looking, but it's just something that catches my eye with it. I just can't wait to the day I find a really good back bling for it. If y'all guys have back bling recommendations for both edit styles, let me know in the comment section down below because that will be very useful. Um... It have to be something in the item shop though, because if it's something in the previous battle pass that I probably don't even have, you know, you know, just put it in the comments anyway, wherever, wherever uh, your recommendation is for an edit style for Oblivion, which is the female Omega. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So we're gonna go all the way up here to the dark series. So first off, we got Fallen Love Ranger, and basically, in this video, I'm gonna be giving my opinions on each of these skins and you know, why I love them so much. So, we got Fallen Love Rangers to start off. I honestly love this skin because it's actually a dark version of basically a skin that's light. Like, you know, it's always those series skins that actually has dark versus light. And I love, I love, I love that the dark series is like that. It's actually the first unique series um, they actually came out with. That and uh, Lava, I think. Um, yeah, I love the Fallen Love Ranger. It got, like, the little purple, uh, purple stuff to them. Um, none of it's, like, animated, like, I don't think. Let's see. No, yeah, none of it. I don't think none of it changes in game when you play with them or anything. But it's actually cool to rock another version of, like, a skin that was kind of, like, all bright and, like, you know, stuff like that. And then they turn it into, like, a darkness type of character. I do love that. And that's what the Dark Series is all about. Dark Bomber, one of my favorite skins in the game. Um, I absolutely love Dark Bomber and Bright Bomber too. Like, I use them on the like, like every time I get on Fortnite, it's gonna be a chance I'm gonna use either Bright Bomber or Dark Bomber. Um, I actually do want to play this a lot more though because how cool like you know the cosmetics is. That's the reason why I actually played this game in the first place. But you know her eyes is amazing. Like you got you got to look at every detail of the skin, like the shades on top, like like it is with Bright Bomber. And it, yeah, it's basically reskin. But like I still love it. Like like who who couldn't love Dark Bomber? Like. I feel like I found myself hating it one time because Faye Sway, he mained it a lot. So, that made everybody else use it a lot. So, I know that's kind of like childish, you know. Um, a lot of people want to use, like, a certain skin and stuff like that. And I could be like, oh, you, you only rocking that skin because Faye Sway using it. Maybe he aspires you to use that skin. I don't know. Like, honestly, when um, I see Nick 830 use Verza with the old school emote. It actually had me inspired to buy Verza and, um, yeah, the old school emote. I ended up buying both. And, uh, yeah, that, that had me actually really happy about that. So, Power Cord. I talk actually got me interested in this skin. But, like, honestly, I bought the skin before I actually got interested in it. It was in a bundle along with um, Dark Red Knight, I think. I'm not sure. I'm actually not too sure what this came with. It might have been a full skin pack with the other full skins I'm about to show off. Um, 
y'all y'all hang in there because I'm actually gonna look this up. Where did she come from? I know she came from a bundle, but like was it four or three games? There's no way she came separately. Let me see. Was was dark power cord. in a bundle oh my freaking internet's not even on the computer right now wow i forgot like i need to put on connect automatically the reason why i turn it off sometimes is sometimes it makes my game feel really slow i actually got it in pretty smoothly this morning so now enter Oh, she came in a bundle, but it went with like uh, like dark skins. It came with freaking um, it came for, uh, with the like black and white art skin, which I don't even know what that's even called. Let me go down. Let me go down. Shadow, yeah, 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 shadow art, and uh, yeah, the fire omen. That's what it came with. Like honestly, I like this um the skin. I like like the things going around arms. I like. The orange band itself, like you know, which is actually with a lot of uh, few skins. I like the fact that uh, you know, it's purple. You know, the the original power core has pink hair. Then this one has purple, and you know, got like the dark series vibe to it with the eyes and everything. And also, I do want the original power core because she got that green edit style, and she got a green edit style for that guitar of hers, the six string. Which I actually do love, so I can't wait for that to actually come out. Alright, so I actually have Dark Red Knight. Dark Red Knight was a skin I actually used quite a lot. When um, this one actually came with the two other skins is going to be popping up in a bit. But uh, yeah, I love everything about the skin. I think a Dark Series was definitely needed for this. I did not like the shield that came with it, though. I was not a big fan of that. Like Honestly, it could have just been... The same way the red shield was, but purple. I like, honestly, I would love that. I would love that, but like it didn't. It didn't. It it was just basically the red shield with the design off, and just had like you know the dark little little runes like going around it. That's all it was, and I didn't. I wasn't a big fan of it at all. Okay, so we have. Dark wild card. I love the suit, and I love the fact that the eyes are, you know, you can't even see his eyes, but, like, around his eyes, the little dark designs. The runes going around his uh, jacket is pretty cool. Like, his uh, his outfit is pretty cool. And, yeah, that's uh, that's all. That's really it with him. Like, honestly, this skin has been reskinned a good amount of times now. Dark Jonesy is probably the one I like. Uh, I I hate the least. I mean, like I hate the most out of all of them. Like I, I honestly like all the rest of them. I just hate this one. I was never a big fan of Jonesy really. He got a couple good skins. I will not lie to you. He has a couple good skins in my opinion. But like I was never a big fan of him. So we're just gonna move past that. Aquaman. He was. He is still a fire skin. I didn't use them much because I think skins that are in the battle pass, especially something you didn't have to do too much grinding for, it was just not it. You got two edit styles here. Not It was not it. Catwoman. I love this Catwoman skin. Like, it's actually, it's actually got a more of a Fortnite type of Catwoman here instead of, like, the actual Catwoman herself. But I honestly love this one more than the one we got in the item shop. Which, actually, this one was in the item shop, too. I like the other one. I, I mean, I I like this one more than the other one that actually came out. Um, Yeah, I, I really love this one. Uh, I don't think I would never put the goggles down, though. But I will always put the goggles up. I enjoy this skin. Um, Clark Kent, I do love this skin a lot. Um... I don't think they done them wrong at all, honestly. They gave him a shadow style, which kind of got me hyped. And you can put the cape 
off on them. So that's pretty cool. Green Arrow, I hated this skin. When we got him for Fortnite crew, I absolutely hate. I still hate him. He like he doesn't even look that bad in game. It's just the way they did the model. It looks like Battle Hulk reincarnated and then just put the um what the Green Arrow like outfit on him. That's all it is to me. I don't know why, but it just is. Um, sorry if y'all get offended by that, but dang, Harley Quinn. I love Harley Quinn. I'm pretty sure everybody does. Um. She got two phenomenal edit styles here. And I started, like, I wasn't the biggest fan of this one, but I just started using it, and I just loved it. I don't know why, but, like, I was like, eh. But then I started using it, I was like, okay, I like it now. Um, It's not too much in the outfit I like, really. I'm going to be honest with you. It ain't too much in the outfit I like, and it's just, like, the tattoos on the legs are sick, I think. And um, a little pink, a little strap going around, like, you know, the little brass hair she got on is nice. And then it says Harley Quinn around the shirt, which is actually pretty cool. So, yeah. And I like this one, too. Like, I think this one is very cool. Poison Ivy. This skin is all absolutely amazing. Um, I do not like this green style, though. I was uh, I am not a big fan of that one. But I do love this one. I love the red hair. Uh, so you get that with both styles. The eyes are really good. Lipstick got that going on right. And the outfit, you know, they got they got everything good. So like, what's there to worry about? Rebirth Harley Quinn. I love everything about this one. What I didn't like about it at first is when you bought it, you actually had the pink and blue uh, hair for a while until they actually came out. With an update to give you the red and black hair. Called Picky Sicky Har Harley Quinn. Which is actually pretty cool. The black black and red is like my two favorite colors of all time. Them together uh, with Harley Quinn. You know, just makes her one of my favorites in this game. Honestly. Rebirth Raven. I like the fact that you got the, like the golf character going on with this one. Um, You got... To choose from three different edit styles, which I actually like this one. But if you was allowed to take the cloak off, like not the cloak, but like you know the cape, and leave the hood, like please, please, like come on now, like that'd be that'd be a great edit style. I don't, I don't know why, but I'm just never a fan of capes no more. Like. I used to be a fan of capes a lot, but like I'm not I'm not too big a fan of capes no more. Joker, I'm not too fond with the Joker skin. If if I had to rock a style, it'd be like the jacket with no hat or whatever. Wonder Woman, absolutely love this skin. If you guys bought that pack with Black Panther, Captain Marvel, and um I forgot what the other dude's name is. Captain Marvel's pig ass goes well with Wonder Woman and her back bling. Just letting you guys know that. Just letting you guys know that if y'all looking for a combo out there. And I recommend the shield, like, the the back bling combo Captain Marvel. I recommend it with this edit style right here. You can use it with this edit style, but I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, the hair is going to be more in the way than it is with this style right here. Okay, so we're getting we're getting down to the Frozen series, man. Then we're going to be rocking on the gaming series. All right, The Fallen Love Ranger. I am not too big of a fan of The Fallen Love Ranger. I feel like it's too freaking bright. I, I ain't going to lie. Like, I I am not the biggest fan of this one. I Like, I don't know. It just doesn't look right to me for some reason. Frozen Raven. I do, I do love a Raven. I do love Raven as a skin. I love uh, the Raven Pool or whatever. Do I? I don't know if I actually have Raven Pool. I hope I do. Um, yeah. So we got Frozen Red Knight now. I love, I love Frozen Red Knight. I used to like, I used to main her as well. Like Frozen Red Knight when she came out that day in season seven. I remember that time during Christmas. I think she came out a little bit before Christmas, but I actually got her for Christmas. And, um, yeah, I just remember using using her a lot with the studded acts and going into, like, solo duos by myself. Back then, when I was just phenomenal at the game. Now I'm not as good, but, like, I need to just 
be like everybody else. Probably just getting some creative and just go to work, honestly. Just practice, probably. Most likely. Go in some zone wars or something. Frost Broker, which is another basically like wild card skin, but like they modified them a little bit. I will tell you guys. I do love this skin, but it, it's the back of his head that I do not like. I don't know why, but like you could have made that part, you could have kept it black, or you could have made it like the same color as his mask, white, or whatever. I don't understand. Like, like I get his Frozen Legends, but you already got his like suit, basically like a Frozen like style or whatever. His uh part of his mask, like the back of it, didn't need to look like that in my opinion. Like, that's one thing I didn't like about it. I think he looks sick though. I think you you can actually reskin this one to make him look a little bit freaking more better and some, like, for some reason. Frozen fish did. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I never liked the fish dick skins. Never liked any of them because I feel like they were over pop, uh, like popular. Like, like I don't know. It was too popular in my opinion. Like you always seen the fish skin in the item shop, so you can buy tons of fish skins in the item shop. You ever, you ever saw the fish stick like edit styles he had? He had so many freaking edit styles. Like he came out with like a frozen one. I was like, so many skins needed a reskin. So many freaking skins needed a reskin, and we get fish stick. That's a reskin. I'm like, wow. I just don't like the way the fish look, too. Like, I think it's overpopulated. Like, in my opinion. Like, I think too many people use them. Um, Frozen Nogops. I absolutely love Nogops. I love the original Nogops. And I'm glad they came out with, like, a Frozen Nogops. When I seen this one, I was like, uh, I don't know about it. Is they, is they gonna make her like skin frozen and stuff like that too? It turned out they didn't, which is actually a cool thing. But like they, I, I think they honestly did this one right. This one didn't need too much of a change at all, honestly. I wonder why a certain amount of skins don't get that fang a fingernails painted. Like I don't like look into that much detail, but I just look at them. And I was like, hmm. Usually female skins have the, the fingernails painted, right? But, uh, nah. It's actually been that way for quite a while. Frozen Drift. I'm not the biggest fan of this one either. It's just because, like, the ice, like, around them and stuff like that. Like, I I am not the biggest fan of that. But I actually do like the regular Drift skin. Don't get me wrong. I do love the regular Drift. Snowheart. I love Snowheart. Um, I think they did her better than they did Love Ranger. Um, yeah, like, it ain't too much you can do wrong with this. And my friend actually gifted me the bundle that came with, uh, what came with, uh, Snowheart, like, the Frost Legend. Yeah, Frost Legend. Wait. Oh, he came with the Frost Legend, too. That's cool. Shout out to my friend Trevor for actually gifting me those skins. Um, I really do love Snowheart. I think they did well with her. The Devourer skin, um... Not the biggest fan of them. I think the skin got too big of a hitbox. Like, you hit them anywhere like while while messing up. Like, it's not hard to miss this skin. It's not hard to miss this skin in the game. And I just think it looks terrifying and ugly, honestly. Like, <laughs> I don't want to rock a skin I don't like, so yeah. But I will say... I would not change any of these skins for the world, though, for real. I would not get rid of them for anything, honestly. Aloy. Now, y'all gonna be like, how I get this edit style. You get this edit style when you originally buy her. And then you get this one for PS5. Like, if you get on the PS5. And, no, I don't own the PS5, but my brother does. So, I put my PS4 account on the PS5 and load it up Fortnite. And, boom, get the edit style. Shout out to Trevor again, because he gifted me this skin as well. Cammy, one of my favorite Street Fighter characters of all time, gets into Fortnite. I had to buy her, and she came out with, like, two two really good edit styles. I honestly love Cammy. Um, it's, it's, it's really cool that she actually has edit styles um, on, on this game as well. I thought she was just going to have this one. Chun Li. I absolutely love Chun Li as well, like, Probably my second favorite female character. And we need poison in the game. Come on, let's let's try to get poison up in here. 
Like, I would not mind poison. This Eddie Star is definitely the best one. Um, it's just clean as it is. And I feel like they could have done a little bit better with this classic one right here. I don't know why, but I just feel like they could have done a little bit better. It's just something about the nostalgia one right here that just hits different in a way. And I'm not talking about, like, you know, the little backbone here. But, like, it's the outfit itself. I love the blue and gold. Like, honestly, you get that with this, too. But it's just more slimmed down and it's nothing in the way of the character. You can just play with the skin in game without any problems, really. Jill Valentine. Love this skin. I don't know about, like, the way they've done her beret and stuff like that. I I am not too sure. So I just I was just rocking this edit style every time I went with her. Because, like, I just feel like this one just made her, like, I don't know, like, like she had like, like she was a bigger person than she always was. I I don't know. I just I just rocked this edit style. She could have had a hat with this edit style, but I honestly seen this in like in one of the games. So, Kate Diaz, my friend, gifted me her too. Her and Marcus Phoenix, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Gears, so you know I'm gonna love Kate and Marcus. I play Gears one through five. I played five with my friend Trevor. We finished that. Came out all right. Um, sometimes it just hurts the endings. By the way, like, yep, Marcus Phoenix, love him. Laura Croft, like, I can't, I cannot skip over her like that. I love Tomb Raider. I love Tomb Raider. I'm gonna show you how much I love Tomb Raider, right here. I don't want to make this video longer than it should be, but like you know, it's 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 got to be content somewhere. I love Tomb Raider. Like I got Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. I have Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and up here I have Rise. Like I love Tomb Raider so much, I had to literally get those three games that like I I got most of the packs in those games. I absolutely love Tomb Raider. Uh, now, I think the outfits they got on there is a lot better. I, I, I was hoping for the leather jacket, you know, Laura Croft. Like, I would have loved that one. Square Enix, though, makes Tomb Raider feel like it's the most legendary story game out there, though. they It's no problem I ever had with that game. I love Tomb Raider. Absolutely love it. Marcus Phoenix, Gears. Started from Gears 1 to Gears 5. Oh, my goodness. This dude is... Probably one of the best characters, male characters in a video game you will ever see. I'm just saying that right now. The dude, the dude, the dude's smart, and he's just a like aggressive. This dude, this dude is cool. Ryu, or Ryu, whatever you want to call him. Probably your basic Street Fighter character, like the most basic one you will ever go, because he was always. You will always see him on, like, the main, you know, like, cover of a game or something like that. Because how popular this man was, like, and how much he represents Street Fighter, him and Ken. I'm surprised they didn't put Ken on here. But, like, you know, it's Fortnite. And it, anything is possible. Now, Ariana Grande, I honestly love this edit style better than I love this edit style. But I love both. I love both. Don't get me wrong. But I am a big fan of... Um, Ariana Grande, which is Cat Valentine, off of Sam, Sam and Cat. I think she's called Cat as well. Yeah, Sam and Cat, and um, she was on Victorious. I absolutely love Ariana Grande. Like, it's no, it's no Victorious reboot like it is in like an Arco, I call it reboot without Sam and Cat. Like, honestly, Harry Kane, not the biggest fan of the skin, not the biggest fan of the skin, but I did love his bat blend. Marco Roos, um, he's actually a pretty decent one, but I don't use him because I'm not the biggest fan of him either. Neymar Jr., not the biggest fan of him either, but I do love what he turns into um, when you do his transformation uh, emote. I do love that. Blaze, love the fact that she's a lava series skin. You get her from the item shop, plus um, she's like, one of the most, like, basic skins, which is the Renegade Raider, that everybody wanted. Every single body wanted Renegade Raider. And then they brought her out as Blaze. 
And of course I had to get it. And I think if the Ginger Raider comes out, I might have to get that one too. Like, Renegade Raider is honestly an amazing looking skin in my opinion. Like, some people want her oh, because like, you know, it was once rare and stuff like that. You know, the original and stuff like that. No. I want it because it's unique. And I do want the regular Renegade Raider because it's unique. It looks good to, to me. It does. It looks like a really old fashion skin now but like back then it did look amazing i would not lie i still want it to this day molten but uh, br uh blood i said bloodhound molten battlehound um hmm i think they could have done a lot more with this skin. these tattoos could have been lit up with uh the little flames as well um yeah not the biggest fan of uh Battlehound. I do want Battlehound and the female skin, which I cannot think of her name. Um, yeah, they both come out in the item shop. Oh yeah, Highland Warrior. If I can get both of them, that would um that would be something else. Molten Valkyrie. Love Molten Valkyrie. Um, definitely think a bat bling should go with this if you ever rock this skin. But like, yeah, she's honestly amazing too for the Lava Legends. Um, she definitely deserved being in the Lava Legends because, you know, she had like a little ice style. Why not br bring some fire into it? You know what I'm saying? Now we got a Incinerator Kuno, which I absolutely love this freaking skin. It's, it's um, made after the regular Kuno in the item shop. But it's two different, like, it's actually three different Kunos. It might be another Kuno, I'm not too sure. But you get one for PlayStation, which is blue and black. You get this one, which is Lava Legend, and then you get the original one, which I'm pretty sure y'all seen that one. And she looks amazing. We'll not, we'll not sit here and lie with y'all. She is one of my presets in my combo, uh, combo thing right now. Once I finish it, I, th I think I'm currently at like 55 or something like that right now. Once I finish it, I will make a video on that. Molten Omen looks sick. Nothing, nothing was done wrong with this skin. I felt like he needed a reskin anyway. He, they done him they done him so good they done him so good there's no way there's no way um something was wrong with this one i think they done him right molten ragnarok he was done right too because you know valkyrie gotta get one ragnarok has to as well um same thing with a whole bunch of other skins some of them just need more like um series styles to like make more people get them because like, some, some of these skins in the item shop just needs regular edit styles to be just brought to them. Like, I feel like some of them has just been done so dirty, it won't even funny. Roast Lord. Definitely beats Rust Lord 100%. Definitely got me wanting to use him. Um, Like, when he came out, I'm not too big of a fan of rocking uh, Roast Lord. I don't know. The name sounds pretty bad. And, you know, the outfit's not even too bad. Like, you know, he ain't, like, dirty. He ain't look like he came from Junk Junction. Like, looks amazing. Deadpool. Deadpool is honestly right. You know, obviously, I like the red, black style better. But, yeah, he's he's pretty cool. My opinion, one of the best male skins in the game um, is Black Panther. I think they done him really good. Black Widow. We already know. Black Widow is amazing. Black Widow is just one. Like, she's the one of the best female skins in the game because how good they done her. Um, Yeah, I do. I do want the other Black Widow. <laughs> the one that had, like, the... Um, I don't know. She was made basically like a Fortnite skin, but she had the Black Widow clothes on. Like, she had the Black Widow outfit on. Like, come on now. I, I wanted that one. It, it was so basic, but at the same time, I loved it. Like, I wanted everything about that one. Captain Marvel. I think this one sucks. Honestly, I'm going to be real with y'all. I think this skin sucks. Maybe in game. Maybe in game, she'll look better because you ain't seeing her face. But she looks like a DC superhero girl. Like, let's be real. She looks like a DC superhero girl. Like, it's the way they done her face. It's the way they done her face. She looks like a DC superhero girl. We got Cuddlepool. Cuddlepool looks, um, hmm. 
I actually bought Cuddlepool, so I do love this one. It's got the black and red going on. I really never got a chance to really even like examine the skin for myself, but like she, she, she just like that little look to it. I see my friend about him. I'm trying to wrap this up. Doctor Doom, he just Doctor Doom at this point. Like I was unable to get the holographic style for him though. Groot, I got the hollow for him. I think he looks um uh, amazing once you get to that though. Uh, I can't tell which one I think looks the best though. Jennifer Walters got the holographic, obviously for her. Um, Loki, Loki looks amazing. We got Mystique. We got to go with Mystique. I honestly love Mystique. This one's probably my my favorite edit style. They done her so right with this one. I can't, I can't, I can't uh knock this one though. This one looks amazing too. Like Mystique is actually a beautiful skin. Psylocke. I have not used Salat much, but I do love Salat. Um, I think she needed an edit style or two, but she's probably most likely not going to get an edit style. She is probably going to be back in the item shop, but not as Salat. Not, not as this Salat. But she's going to be like a different Salat. But like, at the same time, yeah, you will see this one back soon. You will see this one back. Ravenpool. Hey, it doesn't look like anything's wrong with him, so I think they done him right. Storm. Not the biggest fan of this style. I know what they were trying to go with here, but it does not look like the one I remember from Ultimate Alliance. But uh yeah. Yeah, they done they done Storm right with her like regular outfit here. I do like this one a lot more than any of them. Like, let's be real. Taskmaster, this is the dude I was wanting to mention earlier. He looks okay. I'm not. I, I don't know too much about Taskmaster, so I'm gonna actually skip past that one. Thor. Yeah, why is his face looking like that? Okay, there we go. That's the reason why I want a new console, folks. Not because. Not because. Oh, you get the, the frames and grab like that. Like, man, I want. I want. I want my stuff to look good, man. Come on. Uh, yeah. I just have nothing to say about him. I, I, I honestly thought he was done dirty. Honestly, thought he's done dirty. Um, Tony Stark. We only got to go with him. I think uh they done the regular Iron Man right. I would not go a gold Iron Man or anything like that. But he was he was done right. Wolverine. I love Wolverine. Classic. Logan. Silver. Gold. Looks amazing. Didn't get hollow for him either, but that's fine. Perfect shadow, done right. Um, I think some more uh white needed to go around his little uh outfit there. But yeah, he lo he looks pretty cool. I think he definitely needed a reskin. Ruby Shadows, she's a little overrated, but yeah, they done her right too. They be definitely believe she should got reskin. And she actually got her edit style recently, which is actually pretty cool. Shadow art looks amazing as well. Uh, definitely, she definitely needed one. I think I need to go ahead and go in the item shop and buy the regular art when she comes back. Um, Shadow Scully. Shadow Scully is amazing, too. Like, I honestly love Shadow Scully. Shadow Bird. Love her. Definitely love Sunbird. So, she definitely deserved the edit style. Night Gunner looks a lot better than Bright Gunner. So, I think, I think he definitely deserved this one as well. Um, I like him. Um, Slurpentine, love Slurpentine, I bought it from the item shop, anything I buy from the item shop until I be that YouTuber I want to buy almost, like, everything, you know, I, you know, I obviously gotta love it, so, Slurpentine, I love Slurpentine, Ripley versus Sludge, we did not get the purple style, which is actually pretty disappointing, but, um, yeah, He's not a terrible skin, but it's not a skin I would rock, to be honest with you. Mandalorian, I honestly think Mandalorian looks sick, but, like, at the same time, I don't think I would rock him either. Because I always see Mandalorian, uh, Ripley. I've seen them as, like, bots, really. Aim. Speaking of bots, like, he didn't look that good to me, but at the same time, he made an impact on seasons, what, six? I, I thought he was in seven, but, like, okay. 
That's like, that lets you how how many seasons just flew by. Like the chapters just flying, man. Allie never liked the skin. Believe that hair is in the way for bat balloons and crap like that. So I didn't like it too much. Arachne loved the skin. Probably one of my mains in this game as well. Blackheart. Blackheart. Mm, not too big of a fan of Blackheart. Like we we can start off here. Like maybe I can rock that. But like getting here and now, nah. Calamity, love Calamity from this edit style to all the way to this edit style. She's amazing. She's amazing with any other color style. Carbide is amazing as well. Calorless is crazy. I honestly thought they did her right, but I love just going her short sleeve style. Like, I just love it. Dark Voyager. The lights kind of just ruin him a little bit, but he's he needs those lights. Honestly, he he needs them. Um, I can see why. Like, I think he's actually a pretty cool skin. But we all know Jonesy is inside the skin. Dyer. They done him right too. I cannot lie to you. I love this bat bling with Wolfpack, so I can I don't have anything bad to say about Dyer. Um, Drift. Thought they did him right. Thought they done him right. He's honestly one of the best male skins in the game as well. Enforcer. Never was a big fan of him. Eternal Knight. I like her. I like her. I like her. Uh, Fade. This added style makes the skin look a lot better. This edit style ain't too bad either, but I just don't like the mask edit style right here. Mmm, Fusion. Forgot about him. He ain't too bad. He ain't too bad. Galaxia, amazing Fortnite crew. The first Fortnite crew skin we got was Galaxia, and she took, like, she almost blew all of them out the water. It's, it's a couple that can surpass her and stuff like that, but it's not too many good Fortnite crew skins, in my opinion. It's not too many at all. I was actually disappointed with the ones they gave me until I stopped paying for it. Like, when I stopped paying for it, I started seeing really good ones. I started seeing really good ones. Galaxia, amazing. I had to get her. I bought her whole set. I bought her whole set. That's how much I loved her. Gear Specialist Maya, loved her. Um, Not too much, though. We needed more. We needed more with this. Haim, absolutely love Haim. Love Haim. Like, bought her an item shop, obviously. 2,000 V-Bucks, another legendary skin. Amazing. Love this edit style. She had these, but this one just a lot better. We love the hair. We love the hair. Hybrid. Can't stand hybrid. Can't stand hybrid. Y'all want a uh, separate video on that? I will show you why I don't like him. But that's going to end the video right there. Because I'm actually going over my legendary skins. I didn't mean to do that. Like... I was just getting my opinions over there. Um, it went to a 38-minute video. Did not mean to do that. But, yeah, I showed a little bit of my legendary skins. And I will get my opinion on all of those legendary skins in one video in the next one. So, if you guys want to, um, like, see more of this content, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe. Trigger the bell so you always get notified every time a new video releases. I was talking for almost 30 to 40, like, 30... 39 to 40 minutes on that one thing. And I didn't even mean to go into the legendary skin. But it actually it honestly got me hyped to actually go over um I might do one tomorrow, maybe. But thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the legendary skin video. I can't wait to do that one. Peace.